welcome to another vlog where we are here at Harry Potter Forbidden Forest Experience, one of my personal favourites. We came here last year and apparently they've made a few changes so we can wait to come back. This event is located in Cheshire, England. There is a few of them around the world but this is the only one in England. So let's head inside for a magical experience. Set in beautiful woodland at Arley Hall and Gardens, this nighttime trail experience has been created by award-winning theatrical designers and experimental creators. Celebrating some of the most iconic forest scenes from the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast films, wizards and witches can interact with magical characters and cast their own spells, bringing the magical world to life. Discover Nifflers, a hippogriff, and other magical creatures in the forest. Then come face to face with Aragog, before making a Patronus appear before your eyes. Experience all of this and more with us in Harry Potter, a Forbidden Forest Experience. Now then, is everyone ready? Witches, wizards and muggles alike, let the Forbidden Forest Experience begin! Enjoy your evening and do stick to the trail at all times. We're here now at Harry Potter Forbidden Forest Experience and today we're going to walk through the Forbidden Forest at night in a full moon. That means werewolves, hippogriffs, anything that Hagrid's been scoring, ac acromantula and things. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be fun, we're going to be casting spells and we're going to experience the Forbidden Forest. As you walk in, you've got Harry Potter themed music playing with quotes in the background from characters such as Hermione, Ron, Harry and Hagrid as well as Voldemort right there he who must not be named <laughs> can't believe he said the name and as you can see the lights ambiently change with the music and sound to create the perfect atmosphere there's mist falling across the floor the forest is alive Start Fun fact, incoming. The werewolves that live in the forest are actually full wolves that two werewolves made when they mated on the full moon. It's only ever happened once and Dumbledore allowed the, the cubs to stay in the forbidden forest because they're harmless, they're intelligent, they're docile and they're friendly. They just keep to themselves and they live in the forbidden forest. So the only ever werewolves that were born werewolves live in the forbidden forest at Hogwarts. Fun bit of pot of law for you there. There's a death drop. So this is one of the carriages that pull you to Hogwarts when you arrive on the platform, uh, the Hogsmeade platform on your way to Hogwarts. Uh, it is pulled by a Thestral. Now, you cannot see a Thestral until you have seen death. Another fun fact about Thestrals is that they have a great sense of direction. They know where they're going, you've just got to give them a place. So in the fifth book, when Harry wanted to get to the Ministry of Magic to save Sirius, he hopped on a Thestral and said to the Ministry, and off it went. Projections map the floor beneath us as a sign states beware escaped scroots in this area. What Last exactly is the scroot, Sean? A blast-ended screw is a creature of Hagrid's own invention. Uh, we think it might be a fire crab crossed with a manticore. But it's never actually confirmed what a screw is crossed with. But it is something that Hagrid bred in the fourth year of Harry being in Hogwarts, and it was a feature in the Triwizard Tournament. You're meddling in things that are not to be meddled in. Right. Let's go. 
Don't forget to look into the trees and spot the various different owls watching over you. Owls are very important in Harry Potter. They're a way of communication for wizards and a trusted companion for many wizards as well. The owls are not what they seem. The scenes that they do create here at Arley Hall for the Forbidden Forest experience are absolutely phenomenal. The lighting is really done well, effectively, yeah. and the placing of the props and you know owls and things in this area. Keep a watch out for Nifflers. There's Nifflers seen in this area. And here he is, Buckbeak the Hippogriff, bowing down to the people as they pass by. You've got to bow to a Hippogriff. Respect is a big thing for a Hippogriff. If you disrespect it, it'll attack you. That's what happens in Draco and Alpha. And now we've entered into the next part of the forest. The music and the lighting has changed. As you get deeper and deeper into the forest, the more dangerous and deadly the creatures get. Vestrals and hippogriffs are quite tame, but we may run into some acromantula centaurs or giants as we adventure further into the woods. What's that the markings of? That's the markings of the Deathly Hallows. So the wand, the ring and the invisibility cloak. This is multi-sensory heaven. <laughs> if only there was a few smell pods to add to it. Don't need it, smells like a forest, don't it? True. It's not like it's gonna smell like a dungeon or something, is it? And I don't exactly want to smell dragon dung either. I do. <laughs> you don't. The flying forward angular, Ron's dad bewitched it and made it fly and turn invisible and Harry and Ron flew back to Hogwarts in their second year when Dobby made it impossible for them to get on the Hogwarts Express, making them crash into the Whomping Willow and getting a lot of trouble as soon as they got to school. I didn't know they had toilets in the Forbidden Forest. Got toilets everywhere, they're magic. Magical toilets? Yeah. Don't get lost down them. You might find yourself on the other side of the world. Well, you know, to get into the Ministry of Magic, you have to flash yourself down the toilet. Well, there you go. We're going to do that in a minute. This is representing the duel between Voldemort and Harry. So we are here at the halfway point of the Forbidden Forest. So far, we have seen a hippogriff. We have seen a Thestral, well we've not seen a Thestral, we've seen a carriage being pulled by a Thestral. And we have seen a lot of owls, and that is it so far. Hagrid. Oh, and we saw Hagrid and Fang, that's right. Um, I remember there being the a bit more. We saw the flying car as well, we saw the Ford, Ang Ford Anglia. How do you say that? Is it Ford Anglia? Anglia. Ford Anglia. Well, I was calling it Ford Anglia, so... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really a halfway point, there's a lot more after this than there is before this. I know that for a fact. Because you've got Aragog's lair, 
you've got the Patrona station, you've got all of the little Niffler stations, um, you've got the Pygmy Puffs, the Pixies, there's loads of stuff still to come. Cool, to come. Cool. Um, the first half is probably more like the first quarter, but it's been absolutely brilliant. You know, I'm not a massive fan of the Harry Potter films, I'll be the first to admit this, but I'm a massive fan of the books. But I do appreciate the films more as I've got older, especially because it brings places like this to life. Um, if there were no films, there's no way there would be a Forbidden Forest experience. There True. definitely wouldn't be uh, Harry Potter Studios in Luton. There wouldn't be Universal Harry Potter Studios. Um, so, as much as I prefer the books, the films have brought all of this to life, and it's absolutely brilliant walking through it, seeing all of the little. Uh, what are they called? Uh, little references and stuff like that. I, I absolutely love it. Um, you know, it's brilliant. Uh, I just wish I'd bought a wand. I'm, I'm, I'm having to do wandless magic like a, like a true, truly powerful wizard. Do you know, fun fact, there's only a few wizards in the books that use wandless magic. Um, Harry's one of them. Dumbledore's another. Um, Voldemort is another. And then there are strangely not that many other references to Wandless Magics in the book so I'm in that elite list of Wandless Wizards I guess I don't know sir I'm not that <laughs> you know what to say pardon you know what to say of course I do I well, know it's Snape's one well, there you go. <laughs> nice and loud for us, sir. Happy thoughts in your mind. Expecto Patronum! <laughs> what was that? A wolf. A wolf. I love it. Perfect. Patronum! What did he get? A deer hound. That's my Patronus. It's a deer hound. I thought of my happiest thought and casted the spell. Expecto Patrona. Guests should take particular care on the trail during a full moon cycle. That is because of the werewolves that here live deep within the forest. Isn't that right, Axel? That's right, and it is a full moon tonight, so we must beware, we must be on the lookout for any werewolf. They could be left, they could be right, they could be anywhere, they could be far beyond the darkness of the trees. I'm looking out for you. is banned for students. They're not allowed in here because it's so dangerous. It's practically alive. Um, it's run by the centaurs, although Hagrid comes and goes as he pleases because he's friends with the most of the monsters. The most dangerous monster in the Forbidden Forest, I would say, is probably the Acromantula, although you could argue the centaurs because they are so intelligent and they can fashion weapons, but you could die from the bite of a macromantula and they eat humans, so I would I would probably say them. Plus they're giant spiders and I'm absolutely terrified of them. So, you know. Oh, One less magic. <laughs> I'm that powerful. I do like the chasing light sequences that they've got on these mushrooms. It really does make them feel magic. Well, it's my spell that's doing this, isn't it, really? So, you're yeah, welcome. Must be. Calavera! And it's not just the immediate scene in front of you that is lit up and illuminated to create a magical scene, it's also beyond the trees in the distance. They really have put detail into this. It may just be lights and props, but it really is magical and effective. Use 
the glacier spell to freeze the water on the lake. Glacius! No, but those little wand or spell interaction points, they really are cool, you know. They do yeah. they have something good. Sean says that the spells that they are using, like that Glacius one, is a made up spell and the one no, for no, the no. mushrooms. It's not that it's made up, it's that it's not in the in the story. I've never read that, but it, it probably is Latin. And if that's the case, then that is the language that spells are cast in. So it could be a real spell. It's just that it's not actually in the Harry Potter books. Well, there you go. And they are uh, really fun, unique and effective little points of interaction for you. And like that one, then you saw the smoke come out. Yeah. It's cool to do. It's it was, good. It was, it was much more just animatronics and, uh, like, you know, still sculptures, statues, sort of things. Like, like grow up here. But, um... Last year they had a different grow up this yeah. year. It's a new one. Check this but, out. Um, this year they've really got points of interaction that just make it a lot more fun. And, you know, you get much more immersed because you're actually able to cast spells. It's like a Universal Studios in that, but I love it. I, I wish I'd bought my one. So this is Grot Hagrid's baby brother. Um, he found him when he went to go um, try and make peace with the giants on behalf of Dumbledore and brought him back hid in the forbidden forest because he's actually a really small giant he's only 16 foot and the average giant is about 20 foot tall so he was getting bullied and picked on and Hagrid fearing that he would be killed took him back to the forbidden forest and hid him from all of the other teachers and here he is snoring loudly sleeping peacefully amongst the branches trees and leaves of the forbidden forest no. So, Nifflers are treasure hunters. They live in mines and underground mostly, looking for buried treasure and other shiny objects. They're a bit like magpies. They love shiny things. One thing you've got to watch when you're near a Niffler is if you've got a watch or a necklace or anything valuable on you, because the Niffler will go straight for it. Spiders that live in the forest are human eaters. The only don't hurt humans on Aragog's command out of respect for Hagrid. But when he dies, the spiders turn on Hagrid and he is only able to get Aragog's body out alive with a struggle. And now we are coming up to an interactive point. If in any way you are frightened of spiders, please speak to our staff member ahead. Sean, you're absolutely petrified of spiders. I am, but there's absolutely no way I'm not going into our god's lair, so let's deal with it. Unless they drop a ton of real spiders on me, I'll be fine. All the way down to the front, gents. Middle of that road to the front. And so we've entered into Aragog's lair. Oh! 
Whoa, they are coming low. If we ever have one of them in our bathtubs, you're dealing with it, Axel, okay? <laughs> so I think if we have an Aragog in the bathtub, he's moving in, we're moving out. <laughs> That's it, he's claimed his territory. Yeah, this is it. Bow trappers. There's the bow trappers. There they are. Bow truckles are like tree guardians. They're a bit like fairies, but they live in trees. And um, they mostly live in wand trees. Fun fact for you there. They eat beetles and pixie eggs if they can get their hands on them. There's some puff skins for you. Don't know much about these apart from Fred and George breed miniature puff skins in Weasley's Wizard's Weasley. You might recognise these from the second book, or the second film, should I say, where Lockhart releases them into the classroom and has absolutely no idea how to control them. What a fraud. And if you look there, Scabbers again. Probably filled with nargles or something. Okay, so we've reached the end of the Forbidden Forest experience. Just one little thing left for us now to see Harry Potter fight off the Dementors over the lake. Now, this bit is a, the last little treat that we've got in store, and I love this bit. Uh, what house are you in? Where are we sitting first? Uh, Gryffindor. Gryffindor, 50 points to Gryffindor. Well done. Good, good, good. Um, so, after three, what will be a choice? One, two, three. Move off. Beautifully yes. done, guys. If you want to follow myself down to the finale, I'll show you what to do. And now we approach the lake for the finale of Harry Potter, a Forbidden Forest experience. Are we going to see some dementors? And after that one final expecto patronum, we exit to the village. The shop. Sean's favourite part. Yeah. And he's gonna get some ones. Everything here a Harry Potter fanatic could desire. From wands to Christmas merchandise, Hufflepuff over there, Gryffindor there, we've got Ravenclaw through there, and of course, Slytherin.
these bendable and poseable Cornish pixies are amazing but of course I'm going to have to pick up one of these pin badges it's just a matter of which one do I get Aragog do I get a Cornish pixie I think I'm gonna go for Aragog Sean's found his Gryffindor robe. This is going to be worn in my Harry Potter club 100%. And how much is the robe, Sean? 30 quid. I was quite impressed. Last year I got a hoodie and it was 50 quid. And I don't even fit me. They've got the Forbidden Forest merch over here as well. Cups, aprons, tote bags. I've got all the ones that they're selling really. You've got what? I've got all the ones they're selling. There's a couple of Death Eater ones I might get, but they're not in the Ollivander's box, really. I think. Let me double check. This is pretty cool. A talking jelly bean dispenser. I absolutely hate jelly beans, but the display of that is epic. Jelly slugs. Which one do you fancy, Sean? You've got them all. The only one I haven't got are the definitely ones. Do you know what they're like? I wanted to get Ginny's last time I had like Ginny's Lumas. And so we exit the gift shop, which was slightly smaller than last year actually. We'll make a few comments on that in a moment. But you enter into the Forbidden Forest Village, where they do have a selection of drinks, food, hot chocolates, and marshmallows for you to get. Let's just take a short trip around before we wrap up this vlog here at our Forbidden Forest experience. Forest fancies over there. Butter beer. Get your selection of butter beer now. Bow truckle bar. The fat fryer. And dragon fire roasts. Sean, do you want a butter beer? Absolutely not, they're disgusting. Why? I've tried them many times and I never like them. It's like drinking, oh, it's, like, it's horrible. I can't describe it, it just tastes not nice. Like butter? What? Like butter and beer? No, oh, like liquid toffee with milk. It's disgusting. I can't describe how bad it is. It's horrible. You've got the sweet shop and on the other side of that there you can see the marshmallows that you can buy. Once you have bought your marshmallows, you can come over here and toast them over an open fire. We will not be doing that though, because I do not like marshmallows either. And it is starting to rain. It's actually uh, a good time to be wrapping up this vlog. There's Ali Hall in the background. And that wraps up our day here at Harry Potter, a forbidden journey. Forbidden Forest experience. <laughs> so and that wraps up our day here at Harry Potter, a Forbidden Forest experience. It has been fantastic to be honest. And personally, I'm not somebody that is a massive Harry Potter fan, but what I do love is how immersive the world is. We have been to Orlando and experienced it there. Um, and of course, this here as well is just as immersive as an experience. It's not as grand. It no, is. it's not as grand, but it's of course, you. it is a forest, and the way they've done it with the lights, the sounds, the props, it really does create that magical atmosphere that you crave in Harry Potter. Um, and it is just uh, such a fun evening out. I absolutely loved it. I couldn't tell you how much I enjoy coming here, and they've added so much in terms of, like, casting spells they've moved around the set it's a lot different to the last time i came and the best bits of last time are still here so the patronus station the dueling station uh aragog's lair but on top of that you've just got loads of little stop-offs where you can actually cast spells like Nox, glacius where you can uh freeze the lake and other ones that I've forgotten about but you will see in the vlog. It's absolutely fantastic. And on top of that, uh, I think they've actually improved on the price in the gift shop. Last, I, last year I got a hoodie and it was 50 quid. And now the most expensive thing in there was, I think, 40 quid for a hoodie. So they've taken the prices down. And I, this year I got a robe instead for 30 quid. So it's a bargain. 
Yeah, it really was good. The way they've updated some scenes as well for returning customers or returning experiences like us is great because, of course, again, you want that element of surprise. Uh, you do come back because you enjoyed the experience, but it's always good to see something, feel new. something, and yeah. experience something new. And they have done that, which is something I did not expect them to do. We just expected to come here, it'd be the same as last year, and us to enjoy it as much as we did. But because they have changed it up a bit and, you know, modified some of the scenes, it has added to the experience and made it that bit more enjoyable for us and of course if you do want to come down here to harry potter a forbidden forest experience then you can and there has been a lot of people online talking about the price of it and how expensive it is and you know if you do pick the wrong time five o'clock in the afternoon on a friday or saturday of course it, you are looking at about 40 pound per person but today we have come on a wednesday evening and it's at eight o'clock was our slot and we got the tickets for 25 pound each so at that price for what you get we was here for about an hour and a half yeah. you can't really complain i do think it is worth the money you just have to look and book in the right place and time also when they say the half place halfway point it is like the quarter way point the second half is like twice as long as the first half and there's so much more interaction than there is in the first half so there's that to look forward to as well but yeah um i hope you've enjoyed this vlog we've got a drive home to do now and it is starting to rain so we're gonna get up so of course if you have liked this vlog please give us a like always give us a comment down below if you are planning on coming to this event or if you've come to this event in the past and give us a subscribe because it does help us out on the channel Thank you very much for watching, we hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you in another video.